Hi, thanks for joining me for this quick video tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about the lock screen. But before we go there, let's review editing and reference mode. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it below, but watch that one first. Reference mode is a way to edit side by side and the shortcut to get there is Shift R. So if you hit Shift R, it puts you into reference mode. And on the left side is the reference image that you want to use to have the images on the right side match. So the images on the right side in reference mode change, but nothing happens to the reference image. So as you go through, you can use the reference image as your anchor image and know that you want the images on the right side to match. So reference view is how I edit probably 90% of the time. The only downside to reference view that let's say I needed to crop this image on the right. In order to go into the crop mode, I hit my R key, but you see it takes me out of reference view. And so I would crop this image and then I would hit Shift R and I would go back into reference mode. But if you don't want to have to do that, there is another way that you can edit side by side and go in and out of crop mode without ever having to shift back and forth. And it's called lock screen. Now the only time that I normally use this is if I'm editing a session where I know there's going to be a ton of cropping. And so it is a little bit easier to work in lock mode or lock screen in that circumstance but I actually do prefer this mode, but I wanted to show you both. So for lock screen, all you have to do is you choose the image you want to use as your anchor image or the image that is going to be locked and you right click it and you scroll to up here where it says lock to second window. And when you click that, it takes the image you right clicked on and it makes it a lock uh, image up here. You can put it anywhere you want on your screen. You can change the size. But now this can become your reference image. I'm hitting the D key here to get into the develop mode. And then you can just go through and edit and use this, the image up here that's on lock screen as your example image. And the advantage to using the lock screen, and really in my opinion, the only advantage I can think of, I know a lot of editors prefer this. I prefer reference mode and there's no right or wrong. It's really what works best for your workflow. But the advantage to lock screen is if I need to edit or, excuse me, crop an image, I just hit the R key, go into crop, and then I can just keep going. I can hit the R key again to get back to my white background. But this never moves if I have to go in and out of crop mode. If you want to choose a different image, all you do is right click and go lock to second window and it'll change the image. So whatever image you right click on, you can change it. And when you want out of lock screen, you just hit the little red X there. So it's that easy. So Shift R is reference mode. Right clicking on an image in these thumbnail grids, going to lock to second window is lock screen. So tell me below in the comments which one you prefer. I'd love to hear. I always find it interesting to hear other people's workflows and what works best for them. And if you have any other comments, please let me know. Any questions, let me know. And always let me know if there's something that you want to learn. And I will try to make that happen. Until next time, happy editing.